how to tie a tandem rig for flounder and this will also work for speckled trout it's a dual lure rig meaning tandem and i have a barrel swivel at the top a weightless hook in the middle and a jig head on the bottom I'll show y'all how to tie it on a bigger piece of rope so y'all can see what I'm doing and then we'll do it on a uh, on an actual leader so you want to tie the top lure first so this will be our top lure you just get you 15 or 18 inches of slack and then you're gonna tie a basic overhand knot but there's one extra step to it so you make a loop like that you're going to put your hook through that loop and the only thing different so that's your standard knot the only thing different is you're going to go through it twice and you can control how big that loop is by cinching the knot closer to it if you want so that's your top lure. So that's what we got going on so far. And then your jig head. You just go through it once and just tie a basic cinch knot. And with the 30 pound leader that I use, I only wrap around four times. So put your finger right there one two three four so you got that going on with your tag in you're going to go through this loop where your finger is and start to cinch it down and i go back through the top loop right there but i've been told you don't really have to but i do it anyways and you'll help slide that knot down with your fingers and slowly cinch the tag in and the main line. And that's the cinch knot. Then, so that's what we got going on. Way too much slack, but we'll, <laughs> I'll show you on a leader in a second. So then you just tie your barrel swivel to the top with the same cinch knot we used for the jig head. So the barrel swivel is a Eagle Claw size seven. You can also use a size five. I also I use both of those. The five is a little bit bigger. The fluorocarbon leader is 30 pound triple fish. And you can use mono or fluoro. My favorite jig heads are the Redfish Magic and a quarter ounce. And then the top weedless hook that, that's on the loop is a owner one aught with no weight. So we'll get some of our leader out. We won't cut it. We'll just pull some slack. We'll take our weedless hook one aught. Go through the eye. Get about 15 inches of slack and we're going to tie that overhand knot the basic knot so you just go right through like a standard knot but you go through the loop twice And then our knot starting to form, we'll slide it down a little bit so the loop isn't quite so big. And just cinch the your tag in and your main line. It's a pretty strong knot. I mean it it doesn't slide. So then with your slack about 10 inches down you'll put your jig head on with the cinch knot you go through it once and then wrap around four times one two three four go through the bottom hole 
and as you're cinching it it's going to leave that top hole so you can go back through the top hole and when you cinch it down you need to slide it with your fingers otherwise it'll burn and kink the line you can also wet it you know so we're sent we're pulling it with our fingers we're pulling some the tag in we're pulling the main line and we're easing it down on there So that's the jig head knot, the cinch knot. So this is what we got going on now. And then for the barrel swivel, we'll just put it above that top lure, maybe 10 inches. And with the same cinch knot. Remembering not to put all the force on the main line Slide it down with your fingers so it doesn't kink and burn that that leader Because it'll kink all up and twist And of course we'll cut our extra off And that's it right there. If you're using a smaller leader such as 20 or 15, <clears throat> then with the cinch knot, you'll wrap five or six times instead of just four times. The thicker the line, the less wraps you need. And then we'll take our gulp swimming mullet and thread it through the jig head all the way down to where the chartreuse tail starts and that's where we're going to come out is right right there by the tail push it on there and that's it and then the weedless the top one this particular hook has the little corkscrew the the twist lock so you twist it in there put it through the head and twist it all the way down to the hook with the weedless hooks, you have to bend the lure up. You want to see where that hook is trying to go. Right down there. And then mark it with your finger. And that's where you want to poke it through. And that's your top lure. And there's your swivel at the top. And your, your tandem rig. I don't recommend using the tandem rig in areas that the grass is real bad, the submerged grass. I mostly use this in marsh scenarios and scenarios within the marsh that the grass isn't that bad. If you're going to try to use it in grassy areas, then instead of using the jig head on the bottom, you'll use another weedless hook on the bottom. But the weedless hook on the bottom will need some weight to it. At least one eighth ounce. I use quarter ounce. Thanks for watching and tight lines, y'all.